Hi guys, I'm Shahzad, and uh, today is our, you know, lecture is on switch stacking. We will try to understand what is uh, stacking and why do we use uh, stacking. You know, basically stacking. If you go for a single word, uh, stacking means like uh, we can bundle uh, more than four, five, six switches into a one logical switch. So then we have a lot of different advantages. So if we go to formal, uh, you know, um, the description of the switch stacking uh, definition. Switch stacking is a feature of certain Cisco uh, access layer switches which allows for the creation of a single logical device from many individual devices via back stack port connected by several stack cables stack switches logically to become one switch you know basically when you when you receive a switch from a, from a cisco uh, and you try to uh, unbox it after unboxing you will find two stack cables uh, four stack cables by the way two two data stack cables and two um, you will find uh, power stack cable uh, cables so um, then you can uh, you know there is a very difficult um, thing to configure you know uh, mostly we will use a stack stacking where we have more than like um, 100 and 200 or 300 devices in one building and uh, you cannot put maximum they have a uh, access which is 48 port 30 uh, 32 port 12 port 8 port switches so you have to you know get more more uh, LAN, LAN connections so then you assemble uh, these switches as a stackable because if you do a separate so it will be a headache big headache so you will have a spanning tree problems you will have a looping problems and a lot so it's better to go for a one stackable switch as a and make it a logical to easy to configuration so today we'll talk about the stacking okay let's move on this was a definition it's a formal you can get it from anywhere okay go to the benefits why we need uh, uh, stacking and uh, what benefits we will receive provide a single management interface uh, for multiple units like if you have a five six seven switches together five switches together as a stack so you will have a single console cable so you can manage all the ports from one and uh, you know mitigates the spanning tree what I told you before spanning tree issues high performance high bandwidth due to port bundling yeah when you do a port bundling you can make a port channels up for uplinks and uh, for the downlinks, you can do it. And internal between the switches, uh, because you have uh, uh, data stack cables connected already together, so you can have a big, uh, you know, am amount of uh, uh, bandwidth, high bandwidth. So performance is definitely increased. Um, uplink downlink resilience via multiple chassis port bundling like port channels power sharing I told you we have a power cables also power stacking also there so we'll see into the next slide with the physical view so it will you know if uh, one switch goes down and you still have uh, power to the other switches uh, improve back plan uh, capacity when one switch goes down you still have a uh, backups so other drives uh, other devices are still uh, manageable and up and running mitigate of single point of failure and faster conversion with the uh, removal of fhrp and stpt protocol even if a one switch goes down the it will take a you know immediate uh, standby switch will be up and then uh, others will and other members will choose a, a one standby so it's easy very easy you can do it uh, uh, there is a uh, if, if there is a no you know one switch goes down so you you don't need to switch down all the switches so you can easily figure it out and um, it's very fast you will not uh, uh, you know have a disturbance in the in definitely there will be a little but you will not have a um, like if one device goes down one or two or like no no, no it's very very fast 
so if we go to the physical way so there is a two switches in front of you we have a two uh, data stack cable cables and two power cables stack power cables so if you have a two uh, switches and you want them to stack you will go in a cross way like first port will go to the second switch second port and the first switch first port will go to the second switch first port so like first to two and two to first so it's in a cross okay you got my point but in power cables you will do like this from first to down and center to down okay so uh, there is a power different uh, cisco recommendations there is too many you can go for that and some some people don't use uh, power power stacking some some projects they don't use because they already have a two power splice back side of the switch so if one goes down still there is a redundancy so they are not uh, making another uh, so most of these uh, a lot of projects i saw that they don't want to uh, connect the power power stackings because they already have a backside they have already two power supplies so if one power supply go down still you have a second and it's a hot swappable so hot swappable you if, if if this goes down you can remove it uh, while the switch is running that's the meaning of hot swappable so up and running device you don't need to shut down and then change the uh, change the power supply no you can do it immediately because it's still getting power from the other side so uh, that's uh, that's why people don't use a power stacks because switches already have a redundant power supplies so most important is this one for the uh, stackable cables let's go more than two switches if we go to more than two switches there is an hour the difference which is coming with the different type of power uh, the stackable cables uh, this is uh, an old version old 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 switch so you can see same from switch one port one uh, if you have a more than two switches then you will not follow the cross this one what i told you the cross no then we'll go for with the, this way so better is you if you have a four five switches just connect one one cable to switch uh, each port one 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 all one cable switch and the other 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 side just hang it down hang it down hang it down so like that one two three four five you uh, with the five switches you ha already have connected five cables okay and then pick the uh, second uh, switch cable and bring it to one second okay and then from the uh, pick the third switch uh, cable bring it up and bring it to the second switch second port same like third switch bring it up and the third switch fourth switch and bring it to the third switch second cable and now you will have uh, one free cable which is in the port one and you will bring it into the last switch and you will do cross so it will be like this hope you got my point let's go more more uh, uh, graphical way see now you can see if you have one two three four five six seven eight switches you can do like first one or you can do last it's up to you you want one to two 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 and then the last one to two on the top either you do from here to last here to or you can do from here to here so hope you got my point so this is the switch stacking let's go to a bit uh, um, switch configurations after stacking we'll go to the switch configurations so the most important is nowadays 3850 or 3750 or other cisco edge switches uh, access layer switches and they already have a built-in features when you connect two switches and powered it on uh, stack cables are there they will automatically take uh, you know make the st st stacking configurations they automatically automatically pick it up but you want to do by yourself so it's better to uh, take some points and then uh, in, in your mind when you are going to uh, uh, that the top level you want a master second level you want second switch you want to be a uh, want that switch to be a standby and other switches you want as a members so what you do you do power up the switch which you want you should you want should be the master first you will power on the switch 
uh, you are planning that okay my top switch this switch will be the master so just power it on and uh, after connection of the cables power it on first that one and attach the cable to the rest of the members I'll connect the uh, start connecting or you, or you can connect the cable at once or you can first start and then one by one you connect the other ones and then just there is a there is a key point is a power on which switch you will do first power on it will be a master so <clears throat> so you can do first one up and then the when the first one is keep and running and fully up then turn on the second one which will definitely will be a standby and when second is up you will go third fourth five six seven eight and that will be the all switches will be the member because already selected a master and a standby so like that you can do it if you don't know the configuration and you want to do an easy job that's let's stay uh, put that on a, on a switches but if you want and you want that you want to uh, choose by yours your um, way then you will go for a configurations so another other thing is uh, if you want to change the configurations and there is everything running on a priority and numbering so priority base if you give, give a higher priority uh, that that switch will be a master and lower will be a standby and then lowers will be a you know members so you can do uh, choose uh, this uh, priority in the stackable switch priority and then uh, that will be the uh, case for uh, as per your plans so priority is from between 1 to 15 and keep in mind that uh, 15 is a higher priority and if you give a, a one switch 15 and 1 to 14 1 to 13 1 to 11 to 15 priority switch will be the master okay so keep in mind and if there is a tie like uh, put it the 15 15 and then the lower mac will be lower mac uh, will be the selected as a as a switch uh, master switch okay you got the priority uh, things so let's go to the next one so <clears throat> switch numbers and priorities here you can see uh, we have a switch one and we gave a uh, 15 priority so this one will be our master and switch 2 we give a priority 14 so this will be our uh, standby and switch 3 priority 13 then 12 11 10 8 up to you that all will be the members so if uh, 14 goes down 13 will be the standby and if 15 this priority switch 1 goes down standby will be the master so this is the priority and numbering like the switch let's go some uh, commands like uh, show switch you can see here if you give this command to a switch you will find uh, mac address mac presence wait time identification hardware type you will see switch and this one is this star is means that this one is the active which is your master and uh, switch to their standby mac address and priority you can see also the priority in the you know in the priority section 15 and 14 and you can see the version also the switch uh, ios version and state is ready if there is a problem it will give another uh, and it will not be a ready so if there is a mismatch it will show the uh, version mismatch and something like that. you know first time when there is a version mismatch you have to do uh, upgrade the version uh, one by one and when it's uh, in the stacked and working everything fine and next time you are going to upgrade the version you just upgrade the master one and master one will give all other switches uh, to automatically bring it uh, to upgrade their ios it will upgrade if a second time not the first time okay so go to the next if you go for show switch details uh, there is a third switch you can find the role active standby members mac addresses same priority same version same uh, strides okay so let's go to the next one that's the configurations hope you you guys understand the stacking and uh, if there is any question uh, you must uh, send in the comments so i will definitely try to give answers and moreover a lot of uh, you know students they are coming to my videos and they see it uh, if you like kindly i will ask you to subscribe 
must subscribe and hit the bell icon with select all and then click okay so you will notify with the new upcoming videos and another thing if you are if you want to find a good job in gulf like dubai uh, arabia saudi arabia oman qatar anywhere in the gulf i have a 12 year experience in the gulf and uh, you know you go for more videos in my lectures if you go in the youtube just type shahzad arshad my name and 2000 because this name i chosen because i made this uh, you know more than 15 years ago this uh, channel when there was so but i i i didn't put any <laughs> any lecture in the start so because i was busy in the in the projects so uh, you can go and search you will find my channel here and you can find a lot of videos and mcsc uh, ccna uh, routing switching ccna security uh, all in urdu hindi and uh, there is a lot of other lectures in english like a cyber security and you guys know that security onion is a very wonderful tool for uh, hunt down the intruders so um, and loopholes and vulnerabilities in the system so uh, the guys who belongs to cyber security they definitely know what is the security onion so you can have a there is a lot of list I have a virtualization, Kali Linux, uh, servers, uh, and uh, cyber security, and a lot of, uh, you know, storages. And you will find system administration, MCSC, MCSA, and SQL configurations. A lot of videos in my channel, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm sure it's, it, it will help you a lot to polish your IT skills. Okay, thank you uh, again for watching my videos and need your support take care bye bye